place on the phone. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honor, the apostles and elders, great millstone, teaching rule well, peace, blessings, salutations, to the hopeful elect of him, pushing this word with truth and sincerity, and shall the one the Bible, shall I tell the the house of David, men, women, children, listening and learning, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American are the Israelites. The Bible speaks of God's chosen people. This includes speckled bird, the Israelite foreigner. Israel has been scattered all right, throughout the ends of the world, taking on the physical features of the heathen nations. So they look like the heathen, may act like the heathen, but if your father's line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, then salvation is for you, repentance is for you. And only one third of the nation of Israel will be saved in these upcoming times of trouble. All right, two thirds of the nation will will perish due to their lack of lack of understanding. All right, they're disobedient <clears throat> to the order and and, and uh, will of, of the heavenly Father Yahweh. Yahweh in the ancient Paleo Hebrew means He to be who you know as God. All right, Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shai is the Savior. He, he saves. All right, Yahweh Shai is who you ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashem, once again, in the name of Rakah Kodesh, which is Spirit Holy, and that is the Holy Spirit. All right, that is the one name which you will be saved by. All right. And the in the true name of the Lord. Okay, so without further ado, this is Brother Parathaza of Men of Valor Las Vegas Camp. I'm back to you with another lesson, Lord willing to be edifying. We're gonna start out. <clears throat> the title of this lesson is gonna be a rule of thumb. All right. Rule of thumb and uh it's, this uh, lesson was inspired by this uh, TV show that's on Amazon Prime, as you see in the picture there. All right. The uh, title of the, that TV show is called uh, Fallout, and it's based off a video game. And in the opening credits, all right, it has a, uh, you know, it's a good show brothers should watch, but in the opening credits, it has a... a the nuke, all right, it, um, it where these characters are at, all right, and it, um, it cause a, a, you know, a tempest. You see a good depiction of that destroying wind, all right, and then the chaos that uh, breaks out because of that, that, that nuclear uh, bomb that goes off. All right. And instantly, you know, that it kicked off what we would perceive to through the through scriptures to be uh, Jacob's trouble. All right. And I suggest brothers go watch it. I'm only a couple episodes in, but it's definitely, you know, you could pick up some things to the spirit. So. Real quick, uh, just the background story, this man on the right, you know, he was telling his uh, so-called daughter, all right, they don't really give a background story of that, but his daughter, when they were in the, he's telling them when they were in the military, because pretty much everybody knows that something like this is going to happen, all right, and they're at like a birthday party, kind of, uh, you know, how it says in Matthew's 24th chapter in the in the days of Noah, you know, so be the people in the son of, of when the son of man coming, you know, in that spirit of mirth, not really being watchmen, not really taking heed to the, the times that they're in. They're actually out there celebrating the birthday, right? But he's explaining to his daughter when he was in the military, they would say, if you see that, that nuke drop in the, the, the cloud, is um, smaller than your thumb, 
all right, then, you know, you better start booking it out of there because you still have a chance to make it. All right. And he said, if it's, uh, if it's bigger than your thumb, she said, well, what happens? And he said, well, you know, there's pretty much no chance that you're going to make it. And don't even bother running. So she, she seen the, the missile go off and she's like, is it my thumb or your thumb? You know, and then after this, you see that wind gush through. All right, just as the scriptures speak about. So <clears throat> without further ado, it's going to be Second Peter, the third chapter. In verse 9, it says, The Lord is slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All right, so what's the Lord's promise? The Lord promised Noah that he wouldn't. He sent him that sign of, uh, of a rainbow. All right, <clears throat> saying that he wouldn't destroy the world with, with, with water. If you read, the beginning of this chapter, he says that, that he will destroy the world with, with fire. That's what we're going to get into. It says, but the day of, of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That great noise is that boom. That's uh, that that boom that, that is going to shake the world when, when those missiles drop. All right. And those ICBM missiles are going to hit primarily on the shores of, of America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, as it is called in the scriptures. It says the earth shall, the earth also, and the works, oh, it's like you. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Okay. So this, this fire going to be used as a cleansing agent you know to just to destroy and, and refresh the earth okay this is isaiah 34 in verse uh, in verse 4 it says and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and this, the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll now that scroll is how you see all right this depiction of this cloud, all right, this this ICBM smoke cloud, okay? And as you see it, okay, the, the, the ends of it get rolled up, and it, it can proceed to be a scroll. It says, and all their host shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine, and as falling fig from the fig tree, and that's how the you know, when, when those missiles get shot, all right, they, they aren't. And when, when those, so the, the missile gets shot and the warhead breaks off and creates kind of like an arc. All right. And, and as that, that warhead breaks apart, all right, the insides of the missile, you know, they, they, they break apart and hit. You know, designated spots. Okay, so it's, it likens it, you know, as, as a leaf falling off or a fig tree getting blown in the wind. And then the, the figs, you know, being the, the, the insides of that missile. Okay, or that warhead. Creating a, a arcing type, you know, motion. So for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, and Idumia is, is Greek for Edom. All right. Now this beast system is ruled by Esau, Edom. All right. So Idumia in the scriptures is speaking of Babylon the Great, the the rulership of, of Esau, Edom, and upon the people. Of my curse to judgment. Okay, so yes, both Israelites, two third Israelites, and you know other other people 
you know, other nations are going to get destroyed in this uh, destruction, all right, in these times of of judgment, all right? <clears throat> and it's not just the main source of judgment, but it's the, uh, you know, the main place of judgment is in America. So like, let me rephrase that. The main place of judgment is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, but other places will be hit with uh, ICBM missiles as well, such as, you know, the land of Israel. This is on um, Jeremiah 51. I'm sorry, I read this out of order. It's all right. Jeremiah 51 and 1, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that raise up, that rise up against me a destroying wind. That destroying wind or tempest, all right, is caused after that explosion goes off, all right? And if brothers watch the scene, the first episode of the TV show Fallout, you know, it gives a great depiction of that destroying wind. Another depiction is, you know, uh, um, Indiana Jones. I believe that is the... Uh, uh, the Crystal Skull. I believe that's the third or fourth one. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, Terminator 2. Sarah Connor's dream. Okay. And depending on how close you is to that, all right, the, that destroying wind could, you know, could contain fire in it. All right, to be enough to rip, rip the, the skin, all right, straight off your 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 bones. Okay, verse two says, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. And that you know those fanners are are the prophets first and foremost, also the 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 whistleblowers and everybody calling out Esau, Edom, and the rulers of this beast system. All right, on, on the BS and oppression. All right. And shall empty her land for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about because, all right, the, the fanners, all right, those exposing Esau Edom are, are bringing Esau's wickedness to the light. All right, they're bringing the, the, uh, atrocities that you know the speed system has done and plagued the whole world with and they're mad about it okay so the scriptures say they're going to turn their back against the whore they're going to uh, turn against the whore all right and align themselves with each other and take this this uh, 304 out all right so let's go here Jeremiah Fifty. This is going to be verse 38. <clears throat> and drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. And who else do you know that worship idols and false images and, and, and false gods, you know, more than America? All right. Therefore, the wild beasts of the desert, the wild beasts of the uh, of the islands, shall dwell there, and owls shall dwell therein. They shall no more be inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in in fro from in fro generation to generation. Right? Because after this destruction, the uh, destroying wind, the ICBM missiles, which as it pertains to Revelation nine. 200 million or 200,000 
thousand. Uh, two million missiles. All right, we're gonna hit Babylon the Great alone. All right. Sloppy, let me make sure I said that right. Yeah, yeah, two million missiles will hit the shores of, of Babylon alone. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I'll just have to go back and, and do a correction on that. If I said it wrong, so slack you. Yeah. That'll bring and forth another lesson through spirit. Okay, so. <clears throat> so either way, this place is being going to be utterly destroyed, and that's going to be. It's going to be turned into a. a really, a, you know. It's going to be uninhabited. Alright, it's going to be desolate. Alright. So much as a, mem a memorial of wickedness of anybody who, who steps and, 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 you know, and walks in difference to the most high. All right. That no other place will be done like this again. Verse 40. As the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any man dwell therein, right? So it ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be able to live over here. It's only gonna be for you know those beasts that the, the most high speak of the dragons and the owls. Behold uh, as there is another scripture that said no uh, an Arabian won't pinch pitch tent there. Okay. Behold, a people shall come from the north. It's talking about the Russians. All right. Modern day Russia. And a great nation from. And, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow. The, the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like a sea. They shall ride upon horses. Every one put in array like a man to battle against the old daughter of Babylon. Right? So, these other nations are going to team up as we're seeing, you know, the spirit, you know, prophecy build towards the, the, uh, these other countries are aligning themselves with the BRICS nations. All right, with BRICS. All right, and really, the, the, the head of that is the power of the Russian. You know, who, Kind of weaponry they got. Okay. Satan, too. Alright. They're going to be in, in, you know, set, you know, these weapons against this place. They're getting ready. Things are getting ready to pop off. They're getting uh, hot and heavy. It's only a matter of time uh, before one event. Turns this cold war, war, this cold war hot. This is second address, 16th chapter in the 12th verse. And it reads The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth with the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fish thereof also before the Lord, before the glory of his power. Right, because this sword, they, they, these ICBM missiles they, they, that are going to strike the earth, you know, they're going to cause tsunamis, they're going to cause, you know, tidal waves, earthquakes. All right. And it says, <clears throat> for strong is, the, is his right hand. That he bendeth the bow, his arrows that he sheweth are sharp, and shall not miss. And they began to be shot into the ends of the world, the ends of the world being here in America. All right. And so they, they're going to hit with precision. Behold, the plagues, those plagues are missiles. And behold, the plagues are sent. And they shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. And they shall, and, and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundations of the earth. 
like as a like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returning not backward even so the plague that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again okay they're gonna hit their mark they're gonna uh, you can't call it back they have no icbm missile retreat but once that, that button gets pushed to send those missiles off there's no return you know it's done It's done just like that or Alright. It's gone too far. <clears throat> That's why these, these events will come to pass. Let's say if y'all by Shimon you know, Shai, this is uh, the book of Zechariah 14 and 12, and this shall be the plague. There we go. You know, simulating the, the, the ICBM missiles or the those uh, nukes as plagues. And this shall be the plague with, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall be shall consume away while they they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And the greatest, you know, as I said earlier, the greatest image you could see is in Terminator 2, Sarah Connor's dream. Power of the, the ICBM missile ripping, you know, the flesh off the bone. This is Malachi. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that it shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day cometh that cometh shall Burn them, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave neither root nor branch, right? All wickedness will be done away with. Alright? All wicked, uh, you know, every wicked Israelite saying that Amos, the ninth chapter, is going to be done. You know, they're going to be toast. This is their, their judgment. Right. As Yahweh Shai quoted, what we read in Jeremiah is going to be much more tolerable in the day of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, this is, uh, we're going to end it on this. This is Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. It says, He that, do and one, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Speaking about those chariots, having that edge of protection. I will say, uh, yeah, how will he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust, right? Because as the scriptures say, the righteous are going to be delivered from, from those, uh, those that rehearse the righteous acts will be delivered in, from the archers, all right? Likening these missiles to the, to the, uh, ICBM missiles, okay? likening those arrows to the ICBM missiles. Okay. Verse 3 it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Okay, that, that noisome pestilence. That bone. That big, you know, ruckus that's going to be caused from the ICBM missiles. The Most High is going to deliver his elect from, from there and use that same sword or right, that same weapon of mass destruction to take out the wicked. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord, we're going this with an edifying lesson. Again, the title of this lesson was A Rule of Thumb. All right, and I highly suggest brothers watch that, that uh, show the fallout if you haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. All right. So with that, I want to give all oh, honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakhakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, shalom to the lake, to the next time, say shalom.